last thing Mary saw. Finally, Shudder starts its usual weekly uploading of movies in the new year, and it starts off with this one. The last thing Mary saw is a short, slow burn period piece that follows a blindfolded girl with bleeding eyes recounting to law enforcement the circumstances leading up to her grandmother's death, which brings up mystery and intrigue as the details slowly come to light surrounding the family and the reaction to Mary and her attraction to the maid Eleanor. This film is set back in 1843 in New York, following extremely religious people in a tight family unit. It reminds me a lot of The Witch in that aspect, but takes things in a different direction. There's less of the overbearing, old-timey English language and much more of a focus on interpersonal relationships and heavy LGBTQ plus themes. It's another slow burn with a very specific idea of what story and what themes it wants to tell and explore, so be aware of that. This film isn't going to be for those that want quick-paced, gory affairs. It's slow and thoughtful and yet can be very abstract at the same time. Dropping in supernatural events without disclosing whether they are real or not, it's an interesting approach and makes for an unsettling atmosphere, but can be a bit too confusing at times. But as a story, it's alright, intriguing at best with some great moments of tension. Other times, it's like, damn, could these girls really not look around before getting close? They're trying hard not to get caught, but they'll embrace in front of open doors. Find that kind of fun. Cinematography is alright, and there are some neat shots here there and a focus of symmetry and symbols. Lots and lots of symbols. Religious symbols everywhere. There's also some really creative moments every now and again, like in the third act, there's an extremely long sequence that is entirely without dialogue, and it's awesome. Cheers to that. But while the film has its great moments, it also has some frustrating ones as well. It's a criticism on religious extremism and homophobia, but it goes a bit too dark by the end. No spoilers, so I I can't talk about much there, but the best actress by far in this is the grandmother, known as the matriarch in the credits, and played by Judith Roberts. Everything from her voice to her look and the actions as the main quote-unquote villain is great. She's fantastic. I just think the film needed a bit more focus and maybe some more of an explanation. A lot is left up to interpretation and that can be frustrating to say the least. In some cases it can be good, but in this, I think it goes just a bit too far with it. It really needs to reel it in, but it's a serviceable film overall. If you can handle artsy slow burns or period pieces or just really enjoyed The Witch, you'll probably like this. Give it a watch on Shudder. The last thing you're Mary saw gets a 6 out of 10 from me. Hey, hey guys, thanks for sticking around for another one of these. Oh, I'm glad to get back into these things. Shutter took a break from posting these when the new year started, and January is usually very, very tough for horror movies especially. Scream notwithstanding, but I'm excited to see what else Shutter has going on. Anyway, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so you always get notifications of when my next upload is. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think I should watch, if there's any other movies you want, what do you think of The Witch, what do you think of this movie, if you saw it. Again, check out Shudder. I can't recommend it enough, especially if you're into horror movies. Alright, have a great day, and if you're not, have a better one. See ya.